again, YouTubers. So today I am doing a little bit of a different video. I have had so many people asking me about my coats, jackets, things like that that I've been wearing recently that I decided to tap into my coat closet. It's gonna be kind of a clean out and go through and show you some of my newer coats from this year. And um, I'm gonna show you which coats I'm gonna get rid of because I have some of them that have been in there for a really long time that I just don't grab for anymore. Now I have one hanging right back here and the reason I'm going to show you this one first is because you guys haven't even seen this one yet in a haul video. Um, this coat is from J. Crew. I got it on sale during the Black Friday sale and this thing guys is so amazing and so warm. It's crazy. I wore it last week when we were at Longwood Gardens. Oh, Look at that receipt for something in the pocket already. <laughs> um, this jacket is something that they continually carry. There is uh, this option, which is from J. Crew. Then there also is an option from J. Crew Factory. Um, it doesn't have as many embellishments, as many of the buttons, the zippers, things like that, but it is still a very, very, very similar coat. This thing is great. It has a hood to it. You can take the fur on or off. The hood stays on, but the fur can come on or off. It is fake fur. Um, it's very comfortable, very nice. One of my favorite new buys that I've had recently. All right, so now I'm gonna open up the closet door and we're gonna go through these jackets. The ones, the three that I keep hanging here on these little hooks, this is the first one. I did get this one uh, recently this summer at the Nordstrom semi-anniversary sale. It has been on sale twice since then. This is by Burberry. It is a lightweight quilted, but very, very warm puffer jacket. It is a thin style. It has buttons on the front. It has pockets on either side. It does have slits through the back. The sleeves you can wear up or down. I tend to wear them up um, because it doesn't bother me if my sleeve shows out a little bit. It's just really, really quite comfortable, very, very easy to wear. And it is a great length. It's a little bit longer, so it's just something that kind of covers your butt and gives you a little bit of extra warmth in the winter time. So the next thing is, I'm going to show you, there are two jackets that are exactly the same here. And they are both jackets from Patagonia. And I have two of these. I have a blue and kind of an orange red. I'm trying to get used to putting my jacket on my right arm first so I don't mess up my shoulder again. These are jackets that are like my everyday down puffer jacket. They zip up the front. They're great. I wear them to the gym. I wear them for running errands. Um, I used to wear them even just on an everyday thing until I got the Burberry one. They are a little bit shorter. You can see my shirt is sticking out of it. It's a little bit more kind of at hip length than kind of a little bit more of a tunic length. They look super thin. But guys, these coats are like ridiculously warm. Like I have worn them out shoveling snow and had no issues or concerns whatsoever. I will show you the red one, just as what reddish orange color as well on very quickly. Again, very comfortable. Oh, I should be telling you sizes, huh? Very comfortable. So the Burberry jacket, I know the J. Crew jacket I bought in a size 12. I would typically think I would wear a 10, but I wanted enough room for like thick sweaters, which I did wear um, underneath of it. Now, the Burberry one I did purchase in a size large. Again, I tend to really size up in jackets because I wear heavy, heavy, heavy sweaters. Um, both of my Patagonias are large as well. All right, let's start down this end of the closet. All right, first thing is another Patagonia. This is a puffer vest. Now I wear this more as a transition piece. I could wear it with like a top right now. I don't particularly like this one zipped as much so. I like it just kind of open and like this. Um, when I zip it up, I just feel like it looks, I think because of the length of it, it just kind of looks awkward to me. It's not horrible, but it's just not my favorite look. I prefer it open. Um, this one I have in a size large as well. All right, on to, I have three vests. That kind of trying, this one is from J. Crew. Um, this is also sold at J. Crew Factory. I have this in a large, another vest that is great. I probably could have worn a medium in this one. But again, for some reason, I like vests open. Um, this one, 
you have seen everywhere. I think they even sell a dupe of it now on Amazon. Um, it's super comfortable, really soft, very warm. Uh, just a really nice little vest. On to the next vest. The next vest is actually from Amazon. It's a more recent purchase that you might have seen in um, my more recent haul video. This is a black, oops, missed my arm. This one is a large, it is a black, just cute, okay, my arm's stuck, there we go. Puffer vest, this one zips up through the front. It does have very nice stitching and seaming. Um, the pockets are really nice, has a little button to it. It's actually very warm, very, very comfortable. All right, I have jean jackets in here, which I think we're gonna skip over jean jackets. Well, you know what? Let's go through them quickly and just kind of, this coat closet is getting a little bit over full now. This is just a denim white jacket. I would never wear this with this. Um, I wear this kind of like over dresses in the summertime. It is a white one. This one is old as dirt. Um, I don't even remember. I'll have to look and see what brand it is. Um, it is so old. I've had this one for a really long time. INC, so it's a Macy's brand in medium. Uh, now that I have medium because of the fact that I'm not wearing sweaters and things like that underneath of it. Next jacket, I've had this jacket for quite some time. It's actually buttoned up because it came back from the dry cleaner, buttoned up. This one I have to have dry cleaned every year. And the belt is actually not on it because I haven't worn it yet this year. Still has the little papers even. All right, this jacket is from White House Black Market. It is in the size medium. I'm not going to put the belt on it, but this is just a great, really basic, really nice fitted, double-breasted looking jacket. Um, has nice pockets to it. It does have a belt that goes, where is it? Right here. So right kind of under your chest line, um, but it's, my miss oh the button was facing now but it's very comfortable very nice has the wider collar um i don't think they sell this anymore this is one of those ones that just every once in a while i end up going back to and pulling out i'm gonna have to get a different hanger for this because i don't think this hanger is going to do well all right we have a, another light denim jacket this one is from hinge and it is in is that a one? It's gotta be a large, it can't be a one. Another just light denim jacket that I wear. Just, you know, over dresses, over t-shirts, things like that. Very easy and comfortable. One of my favorite purchases from this year is this next jacket from, it's a jean jacket from Blank NYC. Uh, I actually have a photo, I think it's on Instagram of how I tend to style this one. I love this jacket. I did not know if I was gonna like this and I didn't know if I was gonna be, if it was gonna be worthwhile because it's not the cheapest jacket, but I love this with a pair of leggings and just a cute white tee. This jacket is just, I would get rid of all my other denim jackets. If you told me I could only keep one, it would definitely be this one. It's so cute, so comfy. It's super soft too. Like it's not like a harsh denim. All right, on to the next jacket. This jacket I've had for years. It is from Banana Republic. It is a size medium. It is just kind of a really nice caramel colored leather bomber. Um, nothing too crazy about it. I do never like the pockets. because The pockets are kind of awkward like this. Um, and they snap shut and when they're not snap shut, they kind of rattle around. But I've had this jacket forever and it's just a really great staple. A nice caramel colored leather or suede jacket is a great staple piece to have. Whoa, next one. Let's go through here. This is something you can get right now. It's from Blank NYC. It is in a size large. I size up with these because yes, I don't tend to wear them closed. But if I want to, I can. The other sizes, um, I've seen a lot of people size down in these because they do wear them open, but I kind of like it like this. Um, it has nice zipper closure. Um, of course, I'm trying to do it with a sweater on. Zips closed, has cute pockets. It has nice zipper detailing in through here. I have this in two colors, I think it is. I have it in this color that I just showed you, and I have it in a green a dark green one right here. 
Now the dark green one did come with a belt around it and I hated the belt. So it's actually somewhere on this top of this closet with like my scarves. Uh, next jacket I'm gonna show you guys is this one. I got this one this year and I love it. It's Kenneth Cole, it's in a size large. I wore this to the wedding I went to a couple weeks ago. This is like the most perfect little, it can dress something up, it can dress it down. Oh, look at that, two of my lip glosses from the wedding in there. Um, it's just so, so, so comfortable, so easy to wear. It makes anything look cute. It is not something that's gonna like button up like this and be super warm, but it is super warm. It has one button. I mean, look at this. I do have plenty of room in this, but I bought this to be more like oversized, slouchy, kind of keep it open type of thing. Um, I believe this one you can still get at Nordstrom. Next one is another bomber jacket, leather bomber jacket. This one is by Topshop. What size is this? This one does not say what size it is. I think it's a size 12 if I remember correctly. Okay, so I was trying to get the blank NYC gray one. Um, I honestly think I might sell the green one because I don't ever wear the green one. I wanted the gray one and then I saw this one and I picked it up and these are like, this is even softer and nicer. I don't, if it's suede, it's like a different feeling suede. It is ridiculously soft. It is super comfortable. It does have this here, which I can take off if I want to. Um, I haven't worn this one yet, but I actually like this one better than the green. So I think I might be getting rid of the green one. Um, I will say this, that um, anything I'm going to be getting rid of, after the new year, I'm going to be starting a Poshmark account. I'm gonna pull this one over here, hang it up. Um, anything that I'm going to sell, I'm going to start up a Poshmark account and start selling some items. All right, this jacket is an older jacket as well, Banana Republic, it's a medium. It's really cute, it's got nice toggles to it. I wore it for quite some time. Um, it does, I remember I used to, it is a little bit like, I remember thinking when I got it that I should have gotten a large. It's, it's nice, it has the toggles, you can zip it. Um, it's just comfortable. Look at that, another lip product. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna have a lot of lip products over there. But it's very nice, beautiful sleeves to it. Um, it has worn very well over the years, but it's just one that I don't grab for. I just, I just don't feel it. I just don't wear it that often. So we're gonna set it over here. All right, next one is by Banana Republic. Boy, I must've been on a serious Banana Republic jacket kick. This one is a black and white, similar to the white one that I showed you before. It is the double breasted. It does go across, button down. Um, this one has a tie as well, a belt as well, but I tend to tie it like this. Um, a mint in my pocket, good little, oh, two of them. All right. Um, this one, I will not lie, has a lot of pilling to it. So I don't think I'm gonna end up putting this one up for sale. I might give this to someone. It has pretty detailing, but it is definitely over time pilled a lot. Um, but it's just not one that I grab for right now anymore. So this one I think, and I have a lot of jackets in this style, which I have two more I'm gonna show you guys in just a few moments, but yeah, I just feel like that one is not my best fit. Now this jacket, I always love this jacket, but I never grab for it or wear it. It's by a company called Dizzy Lizzy. It's in a size large. I bought it at a little boutique in Cape Cod one year, and it's so comfortable. I don't know why I don't think of this or grab for this. I think because it doesn't have pockets. I just remember why I don't tend to grab for it. But I love the houndstooth. I love this little detailing in through here. It's so comfortable. This one's like questionable. I might have to look back at this video and decide. I'm gonna leave it in here for now. Next jacket is one that I have two of. One that I bought last year, not this summer, but the summer before at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Same jacket. It is the Guess Envelope Collar Jacket. Very similar to those ones that I showed you, but this one has a flare to it. It flares out, the pleating there, 
It has nice pockets to it. It has the zippers through here. Again, I love this type of detailing. This one opens up. It doesn't have a closed area on the inside. You also could bring this in and button this over to here to give yourself more warmth. I've never worn it that way. I tend to just put a scarf on, but I absolutely love this with the gold detailing. This one is in a size medium. Look at the inside, guys. So pretty, so well done. So I loved this jacket so much that when I saw it in the next color on sale this year, I knew I had to have it. And this blue is so me, guys. This color just screams my name. So, let's show you. I bought this one in a large because there are a few times I've worn the other one in the medium and it has just felt too tight with a big sweater on it. So I decided to get this one in a size large. Where did the, oh, here it is. <laughs> in a size large, so when I'm wearing an oversized sweater, I have a jacket that I can throw on. Oh, the little, the little, what are those called? The silica packets. So this one, as you can tell, has a lot of room to it, but still has that pretty flare. Oh, I actually have to unstitch it before I go to wear it. I forget all the time it has stitches down there. But it's super comfy and it's just, when these are on sale, guys, these are an amazingly well-made jacket. So pretty and I get so many compliments on it. All right, let's keep going. On to denim jacket. I'm not gonna put this one on. This is a, just USA. I don't know, I've had it forever. Den typical denim jacket. I have a blank NYC. This is like a, this one should probably not be down here in my jackets. Um, it's a cute little, it's like half faux leather, half like shawl collar, like material, just with something. It's super comfy, I love it. Um, I probably forget about it because it's down here. I think this one needs to go upstairs because this is more something I would just throw on. I guess I thought of it kind of along the lines of a denim jacket, but I think because of the time of year this is for, definitely need to take that one upstairs. All right, blank NYC in a large. This is a black faux leather moto jacket. It's really nice, it's really cute, it's really comfortable, but I'm gonna sell this one and I'll show you in a second why. The reason I am selling this one on my Poshmark, I've probably only worn that like five or six times, is because I got this one this year. And this is why. This is just so much more me. Like the embellishment on it, the detailing, the pearls, or not pearls, the studs, I mean, this one is just me. Love that one. All right, we're heading towards the end here, guys. All right, I'm not gonna pull out these little bomber jackets. This jacket is a Michael Kors size medium. It's a great little, um, it's like a short pea coat, double-breasted pea coat. I used to wear this one all the time. I haven't worn this in forever. So this one is going up for sale. I think I have two or three more in here that are not, I just had a couple little bombers too that were in here. All right, uh, black faux fur jacket. This one doesn't even have a tag on it. I got this when I was in college. Um, I haven't worn this in a while, but it's one of those ones that just, you know, again, it can just dress something up. It's actually a very nice warm jacket. Two more, two more older ones. These are more trench coat style ones. This one was from a company called, oh, Arden B. Wow, I don't even know if this one still fits me. This one's so old. It's in a small, let's see. Had this one since college too. All right, this is more of, I feel like the Matrix. So this is a jacket I would just wear over something else. It by no means would close. I mean, it would, but it wouldn't stay closed. I don't feel like, yeah, see? Um, but it has, it's suede, it has nice, uh, detailing to it, the cool little back of it. Can I tie it in the back and kind of do that knotted thing? But it's just a nice little. It's something I just can't seem to get rid of yet. You know what I mean? If it didn't fit, I would get rid of it. But since it fits, I gotta keep it. It was one of those jackets I just loved and had. All right, the last jacket is got kind of a funny story behind it. I had gone into this was a Macy's years ago. Who is this by? It is by. 
probably somebody who's not even around anymore. Let's see, it says, okay, here it is, Marvin Richards. It's a small. Um, this jacket, I went in and I saw it in the store and I loved it. It's suede and faux fur on the inside. It is crazy long. It is down to my ankles, okay? I can still button it and wear it buttoned if I needed to. I mean, I wouldn't wear a crazy heavy, like, sweater or anything under it, but it's great if I have like a dress on or something like that and need to stay warm. I found this jacket at the time it was, I was in college, so it was like $200 and I was like, oh gosh, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't have $200 to spend. Then I ended up going back and they had some big sale and it was like 70% off and then I had some sort of like coupon thing. I ended up paying $35 for this jacket, guys. And I, I mean, I have had this thing for easily 20 plus years and it is still in great shape. It is amazing. I've had to have it dry clean many times, but it is awesome. So that is my coat closet. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I do have what? One, two, three, four, five different jackets that will be going up when I do do the Poshmark. Uh, what else I'm wearing? Guys, this shirt is a fleece shirt by Gibson. It is not super cheap. I think it's around $50, but I have three of them and it is the most comfortable thing ever. You can wear it as a cow neck, you can wear it off the shoulder, you can wear it off both shoulders. I actually saw someone the other day, this is kind of funny, take it and they were outside and they were doing this with it when it was raining. How smart is that? But it's just, it's longer in the back, shorter in the front, it has the slip to it, super comfortable. Favorite jeans, BP, I don't even remember what the name is, they're super comfortable. The boots are just a over the knee, Vince Camuto, very, very low heel boot. Uh, the rest of me is Clinique Acne Solutions Foundation. Love that stuff even though I don't have acne. Uh, MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. I have on Laura Geller Bronze and Brighton Bronzer by Terry Amber Lights as Blush. NARS, um, Urban Decay Concealer. I have on the Too Faced Neutral Matte Eyeshadow Palette and the Maybelline Brow and Define and then my lashes are done. Oh, on my lips is the Touch and Soul in the color Penny or Peony. One of the two, it starts with a P. Um, I love it, but yeah. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.